something like a Space Invaders or something like that. They were very early video games. They they were very plain, you know. It's like Space Invaders was little white blobby things right. like coming down the screen at another little white blobby thing, and that was about it, <laughs> or right? Pac -Man. Yeah, or Pac-Man yeah. like actually had some color, <laughs> but it was like, what's Pac-Man? You know, he's like a circle with like a, you know, like that's it. So, but it's completely, you know, the the as the as the technology is advanced, as the videos video capabilities change. Now, like, new video games are more story-based, and they have uh, a tremendous amount of, uh, of backstory to the whole process. And that means that big budgets are being spent on the, on the art. And, Even, uh, like, a mythology, I mean. Uh, they create, like, yes, they'll create a whole mythos or, or around mm -hmm. uh, a particular world. It's like, it's, mm -hmm. it's really world-building. And then mm -hmm. at the point that they do it with world-building and characters and, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's it's now you know ten years or so, like with uh, movies like Titan A.E., where they had like all the characters looked super realistic, but they were they were all computer generated, and now the ability of your little you know home computer has grown in terms of what its capabilities are to the point that you can animate those kind of characters mm -hmm. uh, extremely well in real time, okay. and uh, so the the call has been for art to become a bigger and bigger part of what a video game is gonna, is gonna be.